Good morning, everybody. Welcome to bit cloudy Weymouth. There was a great big rain cloud um, that's just passed over. Thank goodness for that. And look at the sky over there. And it's blowing, I think, that way. Hopefully. Right, it's Wednesday. It's 10 to 12. Um, I've come round to the garden because I've got that. I will show you them in a minute. Um, we've got this weed in to finish off and what have you. That is a mess. I'm going to rip the whole lot out. Hopefully, if it doesn't rain, I'm going to try to sort that mess out. So I found that piece of wood in the alleyway leading here. And so I'm going to take that out and that out, try and level that off a bit, and then connect that to there. Because I don't like that, that looks a mess. I've got some... Um, still don't know what to do with that. I need to find them pieces of wood, so whatever I do with it, I've got to stop the cats from getting on it, so we'll look into that. I have got some, I have brought some um, lettuces round, which are fast growing, aren't they? Um, which I was growing in my vertical garden at home. So we'll see, we'll see how far we get. But I'm thinking of ripping all that out so the lettuces might just go in there. Um, I've got lots of onions in there, spring onions, which I'm thinking of splitting up. I don't like growing them in bunches like that. So let's see how far we get. Also, um, I might have to cut this video into two because I'm waiting on an important phone call, which I'm going to have to answer. And if I answer it, then it just cuts my video off completely. Right, let's get into it. The other day, I did get to finish um, doing the strawberries, cutting all the runners off, getting deep into it, and um, I was able to pick off all the brown leaves from underneath and everything so they're all sorted now hopefully they will flower and give me some lovely strawberries look straight away another runner another runner another runner what is going on are they not going to give me any fruit this year at all Got a few on there. Shh. Um, I picked three massive strawberries from this again this morning. I had two, Boris had one. Another one growing there. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Look at the size of that one. And there. I've got to try and get in here and tidy it up a bit because well, that's a funny one, look. I'm hoping not to disturb the ants too much. I don't mind them being in there. I don't think they're doing any harm. I'm not 100% sure, but right, yes. First job. First job, let's go and look at them peas. And I might even do another potato reveal today. Right, first job, we'll go look at the peas. Oh, there's just that much to do. I don't know if it's getting too much, me having two, like, allotments, kind of. Oh, they're nearly there, look. I would say, actually, that a few of them are there if I want small peas. Can I wait? 
Can I wait a few more days until they fill out a bit more? This is the thing. Am I patient enough? I don't think I am. Wow. Wow. Mmm. Oh. I don't know if I am patient enough. Right, I'm going to get on picking. Picking? Sorting this mess out. Pulling that off the top has actually pulled some radishes out. And they're quite big. Just a little bit of damage, not much. Um, that one's got quite a bit of damage on it, but yeah. So I'm going to get on pulling all these radishes out, saving the good ones. And then we're going to start on the lettuces. I reckon if I pull the outer leaves off, they'll be fine, but we'll see. Okay, that's the radishes out. Not the best. Some slug and snail damage on them, but nothing much. A friend of mine, she loved them. She eats them like sweets. So let's get on with the lettuce now. Am I filming? Yeah, right, I've got all the lettuces out. I've got a bucket there which is full of all the leaves. I had to throw two lettuce away. And I've got all them. So I shall be giving them away on the way home to anybody who's walking past. <laughs> Do you want a lettuce? <laughs> oh dear, right, what's next? Um, I'm going to sort these strawberries out. I think I'm going to put them straight in the compost heap because I don't want them. I shouldn't have put them there. It's one of them things again that you plant somewhere and you're like, why did I do that? Right, what I've decided to do is this. I've cleared all that end and I'm getting the onions digging underneath them. giving them a shake and then I'm going to take them over here see if I can do this one hand <sighs> lay an onion there like that and just push it into the ground these are spring onions so I've never grown them in a bunch like that before And they will grow a lot bigger if they're grown separately. So I'm going to do this all along this bed until all the onions are planted. And I'm going to give them a good water. Some of the roots are still sticking out. It doesn't matter. There's roots at the bottom. They will grow. I have all faith, so I'm going to get on with that. Okay, so I've got this far. I'm just going to show you again how easy it is. Lay them in the place that you want them to be. Put your finger there and just push it down. And then when I water it, all the soil will go around the roots. Now I've still got a fair bit to do. So I'm going to get on with that. I'm going to take it right to the back there. 
Right, I'm quite pleased with that. Like I said, I've never grown them in bunches before, but because I like them to come out, you know, pretty big, not small ones. So we've got all the way up to about there with it. I'm very happy with that. Very happy. They will grow bigger now and, it, and I can get into weed. That's the main thing. I need to get into weed. Now, like I said, I've got these um, lettuces here. And what I'm going to do, because they won't take long to grow, I'm going to plant them in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little hole try again a little hole and then plant it in the hole so that again the cats won't get in right so I've cut a little hole and then put my hand in like this move it all to the side you can hear a noise it's the, the um, horse pipe going and the wind's blowing it these need a good water anyway. Push it in the hole and pull the soil back around it. There we go. Like I said, I don't really want to waste this space and I have these at home, so I'll get on with them. Are we on? Yeah. Right, I've given them a really good water in. Uh, the one in the corner over there, I don't know where it's gone, it's disappeared. <laughs> it must be, oh it's there, I can just see a little bit of it poking up. Right, I'm just going to go water the rest of the garden. Right, I thought I'd come and give this a tidy up. I've taken all the suckers off of my tomatoes. I've given up taking all the suckers off of these. It's doing my nut in, it is with my blooming nut in so that's the only one I haven't got a tomato in this is the one where lots of tomatoes were growing and like I said I've just watered so I've probably drowned half of them we'll see what's going on now on one of them I can't remember which one now let's walk down ah there we go there's lots of tomatoes growing there so obviously a tomato landed there and all the pips are shooting. So I'm going to leave them there for now because I might put one of them in there. Right, I've just been in here to do a little bit of weeding again. Remember the ants? Oh, my back hurts now. Um, I've just been lifting the plants and pulling some stuff off. I've got some lovely strawberries in here, but look at this one. It's a double one. Oh no, there's two stalks stuck together. I don't know if you can make that out there. I can't get in any closer. But I'm going to pick this one and eat it right now. Look at the size of that bugger. Wow. I'm going to leave that on. That's quite a big one as well. They're like hidden all over the place. Look at that one. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to eat that right now. <laughs> okay, we're on to this bit now. I'm going to take this big piece of wood off here and that stake that I put in at the end. And I'm gonna see if I can take that off as well, because I think that will be enough for both of them. I will have a look and measure it. If not, the middle bit there is higher and I will chisel that off and then sit that on top. Let's get on it. Well, I didn't have to chisel anything away, it just pulled off. Let's see if this will do the same. <laughs> yep. Right, 
Right, I'm going to measure that, put it down to size, and screw it on. Right, that's that done. Um, oh, puffed out now. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Spending just a couple of days around here. So I'm just going to pull them little weeds out. And then when I um, when I pick them potatoes, all this soil will come back into this little space here. So I might just put a stake down there just to hold it. I think that would be a good idea and then screw that to the stake. But that, that is it for now. That's good. So the next job is I'll just weed here and sort that carpet out. I know people don't say, say don't have carpet down, but that is, it's only a footpath. So that's fine. Um, I will look out for some more carpet. That's just underlay. I will look out for some more carpet and, and put it down there just to make it look prettier and to keep the weeds down. I've still got that little bit at the end there. That's where Boris does his poo-poos. So all really that I need to do here is to find them other two pieces of wood that I want. I've got plenty of um, netting to put on there. And like I said, I've put this on top and that will just stop it from sagging as much. So yes, this, like I said, they were supposed to be um, broccoli, but they look more like savoy cabbage. I've never really grown a proper savoy cabbage before, so I'm pretty excited about that. Right, while I'm here, I'd just like to say welcome to my new subscribers. We've got quite a few. God, that's a mess as well. Got quite a few subscribers on here, new subscribers, so... Um, welcome to my journey. Thank you to my old subscribers by sticking by me. How lovely. By sticking with me for all this time. Yeah, thank you. So I'd just like to give you a quick rundown of um, this. The house that you can see there, a friend of mine bought it and he lets the rooms out and nobody was interested in the garden. And he used to get somebody in three or four times a year to just cut, all this was grass when I came here. All of it was grass and weeds. And so we used to get somebody in three or four times a year just to cut the grass down. Um, and I said to him one day, oh, I'm so desperate for an allotment. He said, oh, I have my garden. It's only a five minute walk away from my house. He said, I have my garden, you can have it. Just let me have some vegetables when you grow them. So I said, yeah, okay. So I've been here, I think it will be five years at the end of this season. So it'll be like autumn or fall, whatever you want to call it. Um, I would have been here five years. And the first thing I did, all like I said, all of this was grass, the whole lot. And what I did is I weeded all of this row. <laughs> and the first thing I planted in it was spring onions, which is funny because I planted my spring onions in there, spread them out a bit. But what I did when I planted these spring onions, I put them a foot apart. 12 inches apart for a spring onion and yes I did laugh at myself but they came up nice and big <laughs> so what is the first thing that you planted uh, in your growing areas that, and did you do something silly like me or did you do it correctly and also I have two growing areas as some of you know, this is my big garden, what I call the big garden. 
and I also have my allotment, which is um, 10 minutes walk that way. So the big garden's here. I live over there, but sort of that way, five minutes away. And then five minutes from my house going that way is my allotment. Now, which would I prefer? I don't know. If I had to give one of them up, I couldn't choose. I really could not choose because I love them both. Even though I don't spend as much time here, I love them both. I've built them all myself. I've done all that myself. Um, I built my greenhouse myself out of, um, well, they're fire doors. They weigh a ton. So, I mean, it's not falling to pieces, but like, it's looking a bit scruffy here and there. But I put that up all myself, the whole lot. And I'm really proud of it. So, the question is, what did you grow? What was the first thing that you ever grew in your planting space now? Did it turn out all right? Did you have any mishaps along the way? And if you have two or three growing spaces, if you had to give one up, which one would you give up? I said I couldn't. No, I couldn't give it up. I really couldn't. Either of them. I love it here. And I love it at my allotment. So, on that note, sunny Weymouth now, and it's red hot here. Um, I'm going to bid you all a goodbye. So, answers in the comments below. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.